So yeah, yeah. and really, um, it's actually a lot easier than getting everybody cheap smartphones because you don't even necessarily need a smartphone. Uh, there's lots of people in African countries uh, who, like, there's been something developed. I don't know, exactly know the technical inner inner workings of it, but uh, they can they can do Bitcoin transactions just on regular cell phone network by like text um, text message. M SMS. Yeah, because because they can do that. They can do that with regular banks. You know, they can do wire transfers and stuff through text messaging. And somebody just got the idea to. You know, put Bitcoin on that type of infrastructure. Oh yeah. So you know, you really you don't even need a um, a smartphone to do it. And I saw a guy on Reddit a few, a few weeks ago, who posted the source code to this proof of concept project he he did, um, to where he made this uh, he built this application that lets you uh, send Bitcoin. It lets you broadcast the blockchain over radio frequencies. Oh yeah, nice. So, so you can you can sit and receive Bitcoin <laughs> with with your FM radio. Oh uh, man. <laughs> you know if if something like that were to ever be refined and you know make usable. It's crazy how Bitcoin can just piggyback on these old technologies and and still use them for like distributing the blockchain and broadcasting transactions and such. Yeah, so like it's definitely a lot of people, a lot of Bitcoin skeptics use the uh, lack of technology in the underdeveloped world as a reason for why it can't succeed. But the market is solving that. We're figuring out how to get Bitcoin to places that don't have smartphones and com and fancy computers. And so like, it's yeah, pretty awesome. I guess theoretically you could you could send and receive Bitcoin using an SMS service. You know, with a, an old crappy Nokia phone from like 1998, <laughs> you can play some Snake on there, and then when you're playing Snake, <laughs> send some Bitcoin to your merchants for your loaf of bread or whatever. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, and also um, the the Bitcoin skeptics who use the lack of technology as an argument, they don't realize that lots of places in Africa are becoming pretty industrialized. Um, you know, there's a large portion of the African population, you know, in the various states of Africa, um, that you know, there's a very significant population of, of those, a portion of those populations that actually do already have smartphones. Yeah. Um, you know, they, you know, they're getting, they're starting to develop. It's not how it was. Yeah. You know, ten, twenty years ago. And and how can you say that that's a knock against Bitcoin? That you know, there's not enough technology in the hands of people to you know, actually support a national economy or whatever, well, that's going to change. I don't know if people with that viewpoint have noticed, but technology is 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 spreading pretty quickly. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's it's advancing and and it's pretty soon well maybe not soon, but you know, down the line it's very likely that everyone is gonna have like a smartphone like device and it'll be relatively easy to get a hold of. And, you know, there's the, now we have Wi-Fi that can reach up to 62 miles or 100 kilometers. And, and once we start implementing that, basically everyone's going to have Internet access and everyone's going to have these yeah. smartphones. So you can basically have the entire world Internet at your fingertips and d despite living in a country that has screwed you over with their crappy economic policies. Yeah, you I mean, you don't even you don't even necessarily need Wi-Fi anymore. They have these, you know, they have these little, you know, 4G broadcasters that take 4G signal, cell phone signal and turn it into a Wi-Fi hotspot. Mm -hmm. And um you know, those those could take off in the developing world and um you know, just yeah. an interesting point uh that I want to bring up is that uh, cell phones, smartphones are spreading faster than any technology that you know has ever existed. You know, there's people in the third world who have access to cell a smartphone. Phones, you know, yeah. granted, it's not the iPhone 1200. Yeah, and um, it's not it's probably not a Samsung Galaxy S5 either. Yeah, but it's not. You know, it's not one of those you know bricks from the '80s either. They 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 have access to fairly modern cell phones, and um, you know it could be a coincidence, but cell phone manufacturing 
uh, companies. It's one of the least regulated industries there is, and they, it's they, it's one of the industries that has the fastest falling prices, and it's seen rapid growth. And uh, is it a coincidence? I don't think it is. <laughs> 